Hello, in the worldwide war that is called austerity, in Ireland now, water protesters are being dragged from their beds and arrested like political prisoners, and the Irish news still finds time and ways to make a water pun. The steady drip of information about what Irish water is costing the state. This is people in Ireland standing up and protesting because they're being charged for their water three times. I'm happy to be out. Um, it was a bit of a shocking and a surprising experience today to, to spend the day uh, in a guard station. A couple of days ago, Irish war protesters were nicked by the guard that are paid for by taxpayers, dragged out of bed and nicked, including a 16-year-old boy, because they're refusing to pay for their water. Well, when I say <laughs> refusing to pay for their water, they paid for it once through their tax, then they paid for it again through their motor tax. I thought that was meant to be for things related to cars. Shut up! And then they paid for it a third time through these water meters that are being installed. People are protesting because some people have got this crazy notion that water's meant to be free anyway. In you know, long questioning, etc. Um, the main thing is just, I'm a bit in shock. See that honking? I bet that's actually a honking of support. Uh, I appreciate the sentiment, but you're actually ruining a very good broadcast. Just from the fact that this has happened, you know, that you wake up seven o'clock in the morning, six guardy at your door, taken to a guard station and um, spend eight and a half hours in a guard station in, in something that is clearly political policing. Well, at least the Irish people haven't got a long history of an invasive authority coming into their homes, overriding their rights and illegally interning them. Two thirds of the subvention provided to Irish water by the state last year came from motor taxes. In 2014, the utility received 439 million euro from the local government fund. Traditionally, the money in this fund is given to local authorities to pay for dun 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 dun, dun. <laughs> Road and that. What is a sort of a road made out of teardrops of ripped off Irish people? I mean, the main focus we're going to have is beating these water charges. That's why they're arresting us today because they want us to stop the mass of working class people beating the water charges. That's the key thing. This is a global issue. Austerity all around the world or is in our country, Britain, in the United States of America or Australia, corporations of the world are oppressing, attacking, charging poor people for mistakes that they have made. What is the real problem in Ireland? The real problem in Ireland is it is massively, massively in debt. Irish Finance Minister Michael Noonan has defended his appointment of former HSBC boss Michael Gurgan. Sorry for the pronunciation, but this guy does seem to be a financial criminal, so it's going to seem less important. Now, HSBC see, as we know, uh, in all sorts of bother all around the world, whether it's laundering Mexican drug cartel money, storing away dollar in Swiss bank accounts, and they're up to no good in Ireland as well. Even though this was meant to be an unpaid role, they this geezer claimed nearly 60 grand in expenses, 350 HSBC clients stored 3.1 billion worth of euros in sneaky, snidey bank accounts. That's the money you could use to pay for the bloody water. We could charge these rich uh, individuals and institutions for this water, keep talking, or poor people, yes, who have already gone and gone paid for it, yes, three times before, yeah! The authorities in Argentina, Belgium and France have decided to take cases against HSBC private bank in Geneva, charging them of aiding and abetting uh, tax evasion. The Irish Revenue has decided not to do so. That HSBC corruption that we're all experiencing, which is a global issue, chimes nicely with the global phenomena of tax evasion. One trillion euro is lost dodging taxes in the EU every single year. So this is affecting all of us. If you want to support the Irish people, you should go to the Anti-Austerity Alliance protest in London today outside the Irish Embassy, that's 17 groves in a place, and tomorrow at the Department of Justice and Equality in Dublin. And so our main focus, I mean, I was meant to be at a meeting in Kilkenny tonight <laughs> to organise non-payment in Kilkenny and so the main thing is to be honest getting back on that. And that's the point. Now what's happening is, is the water of protest is getting broken down because the leaders of it are getting arrested and intimidated. 1.5 million people have signed up to have these water meters now because there's been a fear as a result of this but I would urge you Irish people not to be afraid and not to pay for water you've already paid for again and again and again. What if they go, oh, oh you forgot the water meter, right now this is the new tap tax. What do you mean? Oh yeah, no, you're gonna have to pay us extra if you want a tap installed otherwise you're just gonna have to lick the water up out of the street while a British squad points a rifle at your child. There was surprise after it was explained that much of the subvention going to Irish Water came from motor tax revenue. Two thirds of the money going to Irish Water 
is actually coming from water tax. <laughs> At least of those while he's saying that, that's two thirds of the money for ice water is actually coming from motor. What? The Secretary General told the committee that in providing a subvention, the department was in effect buying the value of the children's allowance. It's really stupid that just for that cutaway they're wasting water down the sink at this time. <laughs> There's all this stuff going on with water. Ding! And other arrangements put in place to make water charges more affordable. So the real problem is, is Ireland is massively in debt. They're paying 7.5 billion a year on an interest only payment. That means it's never ever going to end. That's 40% of their entire income tax budget and will be enough to pay for the Irish education system. The finance minister there says we don't want to do what Greece has done even though their situation is worse than Greece's. Irish people are paying for their own water three times in a country that was oppressed by the British for hundreds of years that fought to kick off one oppressor because of a flag. Now the flag of corporations has been planted firmly in Irish soil and the Irish people should fight it off in just the same way. Don't pay your water tax, support those water protests, you should fight for your water, fight for your rights, don't let your country be taken from you for a second time. That's some true news, subscribe here, subscribe here. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trolls is like the nose if the nose was true. I want some trolls, let's have some trolls.